Hello YouTube, Blue Matona here, and welcome to this episode of Game Guides, where I'm going to be going over garrisons and their effects in Rome Total War. So just to cover the basics of a garrison really quickly before we get into the video, a garrison are any troops, is any troops that are positioned inside a city. So all these troops are currently positioned inside the Julii city of Eretium, and you see we have a garrison bonus to public order percentage of 80%. So... The gar a garrison public order bonus can range anywhere from 0% if all of the units are outside of the city, you can see it disappears completely, to 80% if you have a certain amount of units inside that city, which we will be covering later in the video how many units you need to get the full 80% for different levels of population. Before we get into the meat of it though, I need to dispel a few misconceptions, a few theories I've seen about uh, garrisons, just kind of while I was doing research on this, and I've seen these floating around the internet. So the first one is that the quality of the troops that you use for the garrison matter. So we're going to look at the city of Ariminum here, and here we have a fully upgraded peasant unit, all gold. And we're going to move it into the city, and we see that we get a garrison bonus of 15% to public order for the all gold peasant unit. And now I have here a totally unupgraded peasant unit. And we're going to move it in the city, and we see that we still get a garrison public order bonus of 15%. So the first theory, that the quality of the troop, how upgraded it is, how experienced it is, will affect garrison public order differently, is not true. That doesn't mean anything in the calculations for garrison public order percentage. The second theory that I've seen floating around is that the type of troop matters. So for instance... A better troop, like Triarii, will be better for public order than a worse troop, like Hastati. So we're going to go ahead and show the public order effects of a few different types of troops here. So first, obviously, the basic peasants, 15% to the uh, garrison. And we'll move them away. The second I have here is a unit of town watch. We're going to move the town watch in, and we see 10%. Okay, that's interesting, because shouldn't town watch be better than peasants? And then here we have a Hastati unit, and we move the Hastati in, and we see 10% again. So just looking at those three uh, possibilities there for a garrison, we see that the type of troop doesn't actually matter. Like the higher quality, for instance, you know, a Hastati being better than a town watch, being better than a peasant, doesn't necessarily mean that they will be better for public order in the city. The third theory that I've seen floating around is that it is purely the number of units inside the city that matter, um, not necessarily any other factor. So, you know, if you have two town watch in the city, it should have the same garrison effect, 20%, as if you put in two Hastati, per se. And you see that that is the case, 20%. Two Hastati, two town watch, it's the same. But now, if you look here at these two units of peasants that I moved them in the city, you will see that garrison goes all the way up to 30%. So it, it's significantly higher. And this disproves theory number three as well, that it's just purely the number of units that you move in a city. So two of anything will have the same effect. But obviously that's not the case. So what really is the, uh, the golden rule? You know, what matters for garrison public order? And that is the number of troops in each unit. This little number you see in the top left corner. So that's why two units of Hastati, or two units of Town Watch that have 80 soldiers per unit, have less of an effect than two units of peasants that have 120 soldiers per unit. So two units of peasants have give a higher percentage of public order because there are more soldiers. For purely public order boosts, Peasants are the best unit to use as your garrison force. And this is because they are cheap, so they only cost 100 upkeep and 100 to recruit, versus, let's say, a Hastati that is 440 to recruit and 170 upkeep. So they are cheap, and they are very effective because their unit size is very large. So well, what's, what's, the, what's the ratio? What, what type, how many peasants do I need in a city? to give that full 80% public order bonus. And we're going to take a look at Ariminum here and see population is, I just set it as this, exactly 5,000. 
So how do we get the full 80% boost? We see two units give 30%. We put in a third unit, goes up to 50%, uh, etc., etc. But the rule of thumb, if you want to have the full 80% public order, which you can see here, is to have one unit of peasants per 1,000 population. If I were to use some cheats here really quickly, and let's add another, it only goes up at 4,000 4, a time, but let's add another uh, 5,000 population. You know what? Let's add another 6,000 population. All right, so now we're gonna, let's go ahead and add one, two, three, four, five, six units of peasants. You will see that the garrison is still 80%. So now I have 11,000 population in the city and 11 units of peasants. If I were to take one unit of peasants out of the city, you'll see that that already drops below to 75%. So the rule of thumb, if you were just trying to get the full 80% public order bonus, is one unit of peasants per 1,000 population. Uh, so that is 120 soldiers per 1,000 population. Now, the actual number of soldiers you need per 1,000 population to get the full 80% is more, uh, it's more about 114, 115 uh, per 1,000 population. But just to, you know, but that's, there's no units that are exact, that are going to be that size unless you have damaged, you know, peasant units or damaged uh, other units. So you could, in theory, have you know, a full 80% with Hastadi units, but you would need the same amount of soldiers in those Hastadi units that adds up to 11 units of peasants. So 11 units of peasants at 120 soldiers each is 1,320 troops. That's what gives the 80% garrison size. So if you were to use Hastadi, which is 80 per unit, you would need 16 and a half or 17 whole units of Hastati to be able to get the full 80% garrison bonus. So obviously, this isn't very effective if it's in a town that is vulnerable to attack, but if you're if this is an economic city in the heart of your empire and you are trying to just build up a get you know build up the public order, peasants are the most cost effective and truly effective unit for garrisons because of their size and because of how inexpensive they are. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, favorite, comment, subscribe if you did. And as always, I hope to see you all next time.